Let's prepare on the stress strain curve of steel structures. So now this is the stress strain curve of the mild steel. Okay. So this y axis denotes the stress and the x axis denotes your strain. So now when the uh, steel is first supposed to load it, the stress will be increasing and strain also will be increasing in this manner that is from 0 to A. Okay. So this A is your proportional limit and after A there is a elastic limit. So up to this elastic limit only uh, if any deformation is happening in the steel means also it can regain to its original position. After B it deforms that is it cannot regain its original position. Okay, so after this B it attains C which is an upper yield point so it yields there and then it drops also. So this is your lower yield point and after that it again starts increasing. Okay, so this portion DE will be your strain hardening portion so that at E only you will be getting the ultimate stress of the steel and after reaching the ultimate stress it will again decreasing and this portion EF is called as necking portion of the steel. And here this A point no so up to A it is a proportional limit. So proportional limit means uh, up to which it has a greater stress can taken by the material without deviating from a straight line that is up to this O A you will be getting a straight line. So after that only it varies in the line. So that limit is called as that is the greatest stress it can attain without deviation from the straight line is called as your proportional limit. And this point no, that is from the uh, in the strain area from 0 to B it is called as elastic strain and after that we call it as a plastic strain. And then as per IS 800 uh, the values for this proportional limit and yield strength is given for the steel. So proportional limit is 190 to 220 Newton per mm square. Yield strength is 230 to 250. Ultimate strength will be 410 to 530. And the fracture strength is 250 to 300. Elongation of fracture is 23 to 35 percentage. And the bearing stress will be normally 0.75 into Fy. Thank you and keep watching for the next lecture on Riveted Connection.